Hello, this is Candy from Candy's All Media Review, and I'm reviewing Raven Sword The Fallen King, one of the newest games for the iPhone and iPod Touch. It's a hybrid game, it's an action adventure game, but it's also a role playing game, too. And in my opinion, it's one of the best role playing games uh, in the App Store. The game has beautiful graphics. Uh, I have to give major props and kudos to the two guys who developed this game for Chilingo. Just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the controls are very basic. You have a joystick here. You hold that down to move him back. Hold that up to move him forward. You have an attack button. Just tap on it and you just tap on the jump button. Uh, you can go into third person by clicking on the magnifying glass here. And you can use your finger to look around or two fingers swiping the screen to look around quickly. Click on that to go back to normal. You have an inventory screen here. I like this is very well laid out. Uh, it tells you your health, your gold, your experience. Now whatever you click on in your inventory, uh, it'll tell you, uh, show you a picture with a description. This is also where you can equip your items. You click on that, for instance, click on wield to equip it. You have stats, it tells you your level, your health, and your different attributes. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is you can add manually points. Like say you want, ha you want to have more endurance, you can't add points to that. Everything is automatically done for you. You're automatically leveled up, and unfortunately, your your points are also automatically added up. Map, you click on that, tap on it, hold it, drag it to look around the map. And this arrow shows you exactly where you are on the map. Uh, you click on settings to, you can turn shadows on and off, and uh, turn up the brightness, turn it down, turn the music up and so forth. I click on that, go right back into settings. Quests. If you forget what on earth you have to do, you click on that to find out. Now, uh, to speak to people, uh, you just tap on them. And this is Beatrice. She's the very first person you see in a game. You wake up in this small village. Uh, you have no idea what's going on. You have these monsters running around in the forest and a king hasn't, the king hasn't been seen like in years. Now she's one of the non, the non-playing characters actually has something important to tell you. Sometimes if you click on people they really don't have something really all that important to tell you. Now if you go here, if you look on this table there's food on it and that, that the food is extremely important to you early on in the game. You click on that, and it goes right into your inventory. I'll show you. You see you have food, and you can click on eat to eat it. I'll click on that, and if you click on done, now notice the health bar here. If it's all the way to red, his health is 100%. And as you fight monsters, it'll decrease. Now this, uh, by eating the food, has increased his health. Also. Uh, you will get health potions and the health potions work way better than the food. It like instantly like restores almost all his health. Uh, one item I want to bring out is the homing amulet. You activate that to immediately go back home. Say that you're in a forest or an area with monsters and you're about to die. You'd quickly, if you can, uh, go into inventory and activate it. Down here would be a, an option to activate it and you'll go right back home. I've, I've had that happen to me. It was, you know, say that you're somewhere and there's this big orc and you don't have the weapon to fight that orc. You're not prepared. So you would immediately activate the amulet and boom, you're, you're back home. So just a great part of the game. Also, when you click out of the game, it, it, uh, it leaves off exactly where you left it. Now I'm going to show you a way to get food. Now he picked up the food on the table. Now you keep, uh, you can keep getting food. I'll show you. I'll make him go back outside. 
Now this arrow up here indicates a place where you can enter. If you don't see this arrow, you can't you can't go in. We'll go and uh, make them go right back in. And the food is right back on the table. You tap it, goes right into your inventory. You can keep doing this to keep loading up on food to restore your health. You're definitely going to need this. It's a very easy way to get food. Just beautiful graphics in this game. Just very nice, very well animated. You can ride horses in this game. You can play uh, mini games. Uh, the mini games are a great way to make money. Like you have an archery mini game where you bet ten dollars to hit three targets, and you'll get fifteen gold uh, for that each time. It's a great way to gain money. Uh, this is Rat Donald, and what you do is if you kill uh, dead rats, he will give you one gold for each of the dead rats. I don't have any currently. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go into the forest, you go here, and this will take you out of the village. And we'll see what, uh, there's a boar. You just tap on that, lock onto the creature, and you tap on the, the attack button. And there's another one, you just Now you get experience with the when you when you kill these beasts, tap on them, and you, and you get something. And we'll tap on the other one. Take that. There is a a character I think near the mountains that where you can sell your your skins from these from the boars. Also, you have goblins which have money bags on them. You have uh, creatures that have money on them and different. Uh, things. One tip for you, to get the dagger you just kill one of the goblins <clears throat> and you will gain uh, and you will get a money bag and, and a dagger so that, that's an easy way to get a dagger. Um, I like the combat system because it you know you can you know lock on to the creature. Uh, the only thing I don't like is when you have multiple creatures um, it kind of, it's, it's, it's difficult, it's kind of awkward. And I also like about this game, you don't die and have to start a new game. Uh, you just go right back to that room with the food on the table. You can, um, I don't remember if I mentioned, but you can ride horses in this game. I haven't gotten up to that point yet. You just keep talking to certain people to activate quests. It's just a really, good game, very just well made. Um, if you have Dungeon Hunter or uh, Crusade of Destiny, I highly recommend this game um, because it's of the open world. Uh, it's an open world. You can go uh, wherever you want. You're not forced, you're not like locked into a quest and you have to finish that quest or else. I mean, you can just go wherever. And the blacksmith, uh, you can buy things. And up here, it tells you how much gold you have and whether you can afford the item. Uh, this its just a very pleasant surprise, uh, this game. Um, if you're a role-playing game, I, there really is no reason for you not to get this game. Uh, another con of the game is that you can't customize your character. You can't be like uh, a mage for instance, or a healer. But uh, the developers of the game are working on more stuff, so that maybe that could be implemented. But despite uh, these things, it's just a fantastic game. Uh, it, there's, uh, for me, there really isn't much to not like uh, about the game. It's just, it's beautiful. It'll give you like six or seven hours depending how much time you put into it I highly recommend it it's just it's six ninety nine in the app store I mean what are you waiting for buy this game